everyone, it's Sabrina, and it's time for Sam, Sabrina's Advice Monthly. It's been almost a month now since I've done a video, and today I'm going to be talking about periods, about puberty, and about growing up, because that was very requested, and it had a lot of thumbs up, so I decided to do that. Somebody also requested bullying. I do have a video already about bullying, which I'll link right here if you want to check it out. If you want an updated one, let me know. And again, if you whatever you want to see next month, please make sure you write it down. If you agree with it, then thumbs it up. And I will have that as a topic for next month. So this month is going to be periods. A lot of you guys wanted me to talk about it, explain it to you guys. And um, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to get down and personal right now. Um, you know, so if you're a guy, this might be a little bit awkward. But if you're interested, I guess, in knowing about periods and how it works with the girls, then you can keep watching. For us girls who know what we're talking about, well then, you know, we can share little stories down below and we can each like give our own comments and feedback. I love that about last time. A lot of us, um, in the comments we went went back and forth, we talked about it, we helped other girls and I saw them. That was amazing, you guys. And that's exactly what I want to do this month as well. If you have any advice, if somebody asks a question, I'm not there to answer it, you can totally answer it. And, you know, just go back and forth, help each other out. So... I'm going to get started with periods. Um, most girls get into puberty around the age of 9 till until like the age of 14 or older or younger. It's up to everybody's bodies differently. Um, I, I started my period when I was 12 years old, actually just like 5 days after I turned 12. So it was really shocking for me and I just... I. My mom had told me about periods. She told me when I was like 9 or 10, she read me a book. I think most of my mom sit down and like, oh, it's time for you to read this book. But when I was 9, I didn't understand what the book was telling me. I was just like, oh, this is really, really awkward. Why am I reading this? Why am I learning about this? But my mom did try to explain it to me. But, you know, it, just like in life, you have to experience it yourself before you can finally understand what's going on. So that book was pointless to me until I understood what a period was. I have a really funny story. It's really embarrassing, but it's really funny. Um, I was actually, <laughs> I was I was going to the bathroom and the day before I had eaten watermelon or I had watermelon and there was, you know, there was, there was, this was the first time I ever had my period. There was blood on my underwear. I was like, I thought it was watermelon juice. That's what I thought. So I was like, mom, mom, I have watermelon juice on my underwear. Mom, something's wrong. I don't know why there's watermelon juice. I was like seriously yelling that across the whole entire house. So my mom, she runs across the house, she comes over to me, she's like, Oh, Sabrina, that's not watermelon juice. You have a period. I'm like, what? A period? But I thought that started when you're like really, really old and I'm only 12. And she's like, no, it's time. It's time for you to start. So it was hilarious. And I was, I was started crying, of course. I was really, I was sad that I started my period. I didn't want to like grow up. And I was like, oh no, I don't want to start my period or whatever. I don't want to start wearing all those weird pads and stuff. And I was really embarrassed when I first started my period. Um, I was really scared too. I didn't know what to do. And my mom's like, here, you just put on this pad and you just wear it. And, you know, once it gets all filled up, you have to keep changing it and stuff. So that's what happened to me. When I was 12, I got my period. And most girls do start when they're 12. I know, like, a lot of my best friends when I was 12, we talked about it. We're like, oh, I just started my period. She's like, oh, really? I just started mine or whatever. It was totally cool to talk about it. But, um, you know, most girls do start at 12. My mom did start later. She told me that she started a lot later. She started at, like, 14. My sister started at when she was, started at, like, 12 and a half. And, um, she was ready for it, though, because of me. Um, she didn't have the same experience. Like, she didn't freak out. She just started crying, of course, because, you know, getting your period. To I me, mean, it's really depressing. Um, to us girls, it's really depressing. Instead of, like, oh, I'm a woman, it's sad because, you know, periods are not fun. With periods comes cramps and migraines and, oh, gosh, like, lots of unhappiness. Like, you being PMSing, um, yeah. PMSing is really fun with periods, isn't it? Anyway, so the first time for me, it lasted about a week. You know, I just kind of got used to it. I kept changing my pad, and I recommend when you first start your period, you use one of those pads with the little wings on it because it's the easiest. Oh my gosh, if you don't, I know, and if I don't use those, I get blood all over my underwear. It's really gross. So those are the little wings attached on the sides. You can just flip it over and attach it to your underwear, and wear some underwear that you don't mind getting blood on. Don't wear white. Wear like old underwear that you think are weird granny panty underwears whatever make you comfortable that's what I like to wear during my periods uh, I want to be comfortable you know nighttime is like the worst because nighttime you get you get the most uh, gosh nighttime it's so annoying when you wake up and you have to change your pad make sure you get the pads that are superbly long for nighttime and the ones that are like heavy coverage and um, you know, if you can, you can get the pads without wings, but I seriously recommend wings. I still use wings even at this age because they're just like the most easiest to use in my opinion. And um, that's, yeah. Um, some people like to use tampons. I'm not a big fan of tampons. I tried it once and 
It was not my favorite. I, I felt very uncomfortable and to me it's just not, it's not comfy to me. I just like, let me put a pad on. Some people say not to wear tampons until you're, you're way older and I kind of agree with that. It's totally a lot easier for you to just use a pad, but if you like tampons, it's up to you. I'm a pad person. I think they're super comfortable and they're easy to wear and, you know, just easy to change and stuff. Um, during school, if you have your period and if you start your period during school, it sucks. It sucks a lot, but your teachers usually understand. All you have to say is, I have a girl problem, I need to go to the bathroom, and your teacher will understand. If he's a male or a female, he or she will understand because I remember I had to tell one of my um, guy teachers once, I was like, I, I used the bathroom once and, you know, I already used the bathroom, but like five minutes later I had to go use the bathroom again because I had started my period and I was like telling my friends, hey, how, what do I do, what do I do? So my friend went up with me and she's like, um, Sabrina has to go to the bathroom again. He's like, why? You just went, uh, she's a girl problem. He's like, oh, okay, go, go, go. <laughs> and he just let me go. So, you know, your teachers will be cool that if you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that, they'll understand. And, um, you know, even if you have an emergency, you don't have time to tell the teacher, just run out of the classroom, you, you just go, okay? And other than that, um, you know, you can change you can change your pad again as many times as you want. I usually change it when I feel like the pad's all filled up and, you know, I need to go change it out. Um, I don't know if there's like a recommended time to change. It's, I, I feel like it's just like mostly up to you. And for about the cramps, uh, cramps suck really, really bad. They hurt and they suck. I mean, my first couple of my first two years were the worst years ever about periods and stuff. I had the worst cramps ever. And you know, my mom was like, the reason why you have cramps is because you're thinking about boys, whatever. That's what she'd tell me. I was like, Mom, I like this boy. She's like, oh no, you're going to have really bad cramps next month and whatever. But it would always happen like that. Every time I liked the boy, I had really bad cramps. I don't know if it was like my feelings or my emotions and stuff, but I had bad cramps. So I was like, oh, maybe we should stop thinking about boys. And cramps suck, okay? They do suck. And they're so painful. I mean, I remember one time when it was so bad that I started crying. I didn't know what to do. And, you know, you can take a leave or an aspirin or ibuprofen. That is what you should do if you have really bad cramps. That's what I would do. But I would kind of wait till like the last moment until I thought like I couldn't bear the pain anymore. Because, you know, it's not so good to take that many ibuprofen, that many leaves. It's not that good for you. But, you know, I would take it eventually. You have to take it. You, I don't know if you can make it through the pain. I felt like it was getting worse and worse as I waited. So eventually I would have to take it. And, you know, take something that says it's for menstrual um, cramps or anything like that. Just take it because you will feel better. And it, will, it starts working very slowly for me, actually. It takes like an hour before it finally starts working. So, you know, make sure if you start feeling that pain, maybe you should take it ahead of time because... It hurts like crazy. Cramps are very, very painful. Time of periods? Yeah. You want some ice cream? Yeah, I want some ice cream. <laughs> you know, cramps do have... Some people don't get cramps at all. Some girls get cramps every month. I got every month for two years in a row I would get cramps. And uh, after a while, my cramps just kind of subsided. They didn't hurt as much. And I don't really have any more problems with cramps, actually. So that's good. But, you know, at the beginning, you do get lots of cramps. And it does really hurt like crazy. And so, you know, make sure you have ibuprofen available, leave, um, anything like that that, you know, will help you. And, you know, stay, get ready for cramps because they, they will come. Another thing that I noticed when I had my period was I was very, very PMS-y. Um, I was... I was a nice. When I have my period, I'm not a nice person. I'm like mad at everybody. I start crying for no reason. I just, I'm like laughing one second, and the next I'm just like crying. And you know, you start crying because you think about old boyfriends, or you want a boyfriend, or you see a sad movie, you start crying. You start crying because you like chipped the nail. I don't know. You just start crying about the silliest things. And I did. I would cry. I mean, I'm not as crazy anymore with PMS. I'm just like, now I'm used to it. But at the beginning, I was like, oh gosh, you do not want to be around me when I have my period, like type of girl. And I wasn't nice, I'd like yell at people, like, you know, get all like moody and, oh yeah. So, <sighs> teenage girls, you will probably have really strange and random mood swings while you have your period, just like I did. Um, but, again, after you get used to it, you will be able to control it and like keep it to yourself. But the worst is, you know, just like not being yourself during your periods. You're like, who am I during your periods? You're just like really lost and you're kind of depressed. So PMS is not fun and, you know, guys, if you notice that your girlfriend's all crazy and stuff, and you're like, what is wrong with her? That is what's wrong. You do not want to piss her off during her period because, you know, you're kind of screwed if you do that. So you try to be as nice as possible, just do what they say, and, you know, after a week or so, you'll be okay. Pretty much um, sums up periods. I'm not sure what else I can mention about periods, but hopefully I've helped you out. 
Um, when you start your period, just, you know, get ready for it. If you, sometimes ahead of time, like, you might notice that your tummy starts hurting or you'll feel cramps a week before you start your period or, you know, that's what I know. I notice that, like, my um, stomach hurts or my belly, you know, it hurts around your belly area, stomach area. You feel, like, this pain. It's just a little pain. And um, I know that in a week I'm going to start my period or the day that I have my period, I will have a really bad cramp and then I know I have my period. So... That is usually what happens, you know, it comes out of randomly, it comes randomly usually. But you, there is a way you can find out when your period is, there's apps on a cell phone. Sometimes you might be late a week, sometimes you might be early a week, sometimes you might have it twice a month, like I used to have, it wasn't that amazing. But um, it's up to your body, I guess, how it processes and stuff. And, you know, don't worry if, you're don't, if your period doesn't show up for, if it skips a month or so, there's nothing wrong. If you skip a couple more months, you'll be fine, especially when you first begin. You know, it's not going to be regular and stuff, so just be ready for that. Don't freak out if you miss it. And if you have it more than once a month, I'm so sorry. That really sucks, but some people do, and I did too, and it sucked. Oh my gosh, but, you know, it's just the way that our body works. Pretty much it about periods. Just, you know, tell your mom, tell your... Don't be afraid to tell your mom or tell your sister if you need any help. They'll be there for you. They will support you. I was there for Alex. My mom was there for me. And they'll be there and they'll tell you your funny stories just like I have my funny story to tell my kids when they grow up. It's just the thing that, you know, happens in life that we have to just go through in life and deal with it for the rest of our lives. But periods are nothing to worry about. You'll be okay and we have all made it through. It's just like a different stage in your life. So I hope you found this video helpful. Again, whatever you want to see for next month, make sure you post down below. And I'll see you guys in my upcoming advice videos. I love these videos. Bye guys.